for a teacher to get herself connected from within is very important they give positive suggestions also in the morning and afternoon that all the people of the world are developing right thinking correct understanding and honest approach to life hello everyone i am your host seema and i welcome you all to another session on great principles Great Principles, a platform where we bring to you educators from around the globe and discuss their vision, thoughts and journey with one sole vision of making education more meaningful. Well, Aristotle said that educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. In today's episode, we will be discussing on education that is not overly dependent upon focus on academic achievements instead an education that considers a holistic approach that will build character my today's guest ila rathor she is director of ashwini international school pune she calls this kind of education heart based education let's welcome her to the show and understand from her how heart based education is going to help the children in the long run and also make them proud citizens welcome to great principles ma'am i'm really honored to have you with me today thank you seema it's an honor for me to be here at this at this platform so ma'am today you know we are here discussing about heart based uh, education and i am sure you that today's conversation will be from the heart so let's understand each other better first and before we dig in this very interesting topic let us understand about you ma'am how has been your journey in education was your education supported by heart too what makes you you know going in this profession um see i never thought that i'll become a teacher and i'll join uh, you know education as my career uh i always believe that there are two types of teachers one is uh, those who become teachers by chance and the other by choice and uh, to be very candid i became a teacher by chance it was never by choice uh it was like uh, you know when i was in uh, college i wanted to i was very fascinated about uh, english literature and uh, english as a subject so i did my bcom first because i come from a family where uh, you know my father my brothers they are all engineers so they also you know wanted me to be one but uh, when i was doing my bcom i realized that uh, there is no subject as english you know only calculation maths and costing and accounts and all so after completing my graduation i went to my dad and i said uh, i don't want to study this i don't want to study numbers i want to study literature because that connects me with life so and uh, you know my father uh, uh, had a different uh, you know thinking he said no english and all and arts you'll be doing so there is no scope in that but i was very firm i said no i want to pursue i want to learn english there was nothing like i did not have anything that what i'll be doing in life you know what i'll be what will be my career where i'll be working but i only wanted to study literature again it was a decision from my heart that my heart was aspiring to study literature i wanted to know about emotions i wanted to know about life then my mother supported me so then i did my additional ba in english in one year i cleared first year english second year english and third year english papers and that is how i took admission in ma after doing my ma i did my mphil and ba then you know after joining this institution ashwini international school management wanted to me to you know go for mba so i did my mba that time so this is how i started but then uh, uh, i would like to tell you that uh, though i it, it was never my choice but after joining here i have made it a point that this becomes my choice and now uh, you know whatever i do here in the school in the organization i do it with meraki you know meraki means putting my heart and soul into whatever i do and i believe uh, anything without heart you know it, it becomes monotonous it it becomes lifeless so i feel whatever i do in life you know i do it from my heart so my heart wanted to do english and also uh today i am here yes wow 
so very beautiful journey which always listens to the heart and i'm sure you will be continuing with it in the similar manner ahead so ma'am you know hearing you i felt one thing that if you put your heart and soul then in whichever profession you go you excel so have yes. you seen such examples at your school also when you are teaching with heart do you find that children have more happy faces and they are more willing to come to school and enjoy learning uh i think seema ma'am for this uh, i invite you to come to my school and you come and witness the not only the smiles on the faces of children and teachers but also the you know joyful atmosphere here because there have, like i have many visitors when they come to my school for the first time they come and meet me and they t- they, they tell that the moment they entered the gate you know the m- moment they entered the premises they felt that the atmosphere was very serene very joyful and in fact i would like to tell you one incident we had our uh, you know uh, one inspector from the cisc board and he had come for the inspection of for the affiliation so he was there with us two days in school and the next day when he was leaving in the evening he said he was a very senior person you know very aged and uh, uh, very good and down to earth person so he said uh, ila ma'am i feel something very special in your school i don't know what i'm not able to find out but then there is something which is very strong with it, which is very joyful here and then uh, you know very you know proudly i told him yes sir because we do heartfulness meditation here in school all our children they do heartfulness relaxation in the assembly and uh, all our teachers our admin staff our security our management we all sit together every saturday and we have group meditations so i said it, it is the you know because of this that you are feeling something different here and uh, we have witnessed many other uh, you know changes also like uh, as you said that uh, when you put our heart and soul into something we excel so you know i tell my teachers whenever you enter the class you enter with this thing first you connect yourself within with yourself you need to connect and then with this thought that yes whatever i'm going to teach it should come from my heart it will be coming from my heart and that heart to heart connection is required with the children it is not mind to mind you cannot connect then you become like a computer you know computer is without emotions without heart so it always has to be from within from heart and uh, i think uh, for a teacher it becomes imperative it becomes very important that he or she teaches from the heart it is not just completion of any syllabus or any course and okay i collect my salary and i go no it is much much more beyond than that so uh, for a teacher to get herself connected from within is very important and uh, uh, you know we have seen many times that whenever our children they go for any competition i don't know we it is not that we don't train our children that much but then in spite of that it is not you know it is very surprising for us that every time they go for any competition they win something or the other they bring laurels every time and it is very surprising for me that how come every competition they go and they win something from there and they come and many a times it has happened that they have gone to other schools and uh, the principal of that school she calls me and say that you know that we had children from your school and they are very you know outstanding so what is that that your children are so bright you they are so smart so i tell them that madam you again come to my school and we have something like heartfulness meditation which which in, in which we take pride and uh, yes we do that absolutely you know so you have given the biggest gift to the children i guess and that is uh, uh, to find joy in learning because once that is there then children children are you know born they can learn everything they are very observant they're very curious all they need is the right guidance so when you guide them in the right direction with putting your heart in it so you know there is no looking back then so children would definitely find interest in whatever they do and when they are so connected with their teachers then they will definitely laurels to the school and we are seeing this live example so to all my dear viewers out there please do visit the school check out what kind of curriculum they are following how this joy is there in every corner of the school 
school do visit it so ma'am going ahead in our conversation we would like to understand a little more from you how do you you know um design your curriculum in that manner so that in every lesson plan everywhere when you are teaching we are connecting with the students you are ensuring that teachers are also guiding them apart from academic knowledge with confidence with connection with empathy all the things bring them that they are finding joy in learning so how do you do this how do you train how do you design your curriculum what is it? see we do not uh, design our curriculum in a, a different manner but uh, uh, like we follow the cisc curriculum whatever has been prescribed from the board but apart from that we first train our teachers at the time of appointment only like it is not just that uh, you know a teacher should be having a ba degree uh, in spite of having ba degree or you know masters or doctorate or anything what if i do not teach from my heart in the class what is the use of my all the degrees you know demo at the time of demo okay fine the teacher may be giving her uh, best over there but then i do not know what she is going to do in the class so for that after appointment we you know give them meditation sessions which we do not charge anything for so after giving these sessions like i personally every week i talk to them and if they have any queries related to meditation i you know i solve them and uh we have uh, um, discussions every week so it is this thing and then second thing uh, you know our children they do heartfulness relaxation also it is included in our curriculum so as i said in the morning assembly after the assembly is done they be seated in the uh, on the ground over there and then they do heartfulness relaxation so there is one child giving the commands heartfulness commands and the other children they follow same way uh, before they disperse in the afternoon when their day is over again that time they have heartfulness relaxation so one child on mic she gives the command and the other school like uh, they follow it together with this we have something as uh, you know positive suggestions they give positive suggestions also in the morning and afternoon that all the people of the world are developing right thinking correct understanding and honest approach to life and we believe uh, you know uh, if you i i'm sure you would agree with me that um, our thoughts are very powerful whatever we think we attract that same thing from nature so if children from this very right age we teach them this thing and they start giving this positive affirmation positive thoughts so very soon the world will become a completely different and better place to live in so we believe in that and that is how we design you know our whole curriculum that be it arts be it maths english whichever subject we always tell them that make sure you know if, if say if, if a child is not understanding 2 plus 2 the child says 3 and the teacher gives one slap no that way i tell them they are not going to learn and uh, you know uh, we believe that discipline backed by love is never felt as discipline so we have uh, love as our main curriculum i would say and uh, the other things whatever is there which is prescribed by the council so absolutely so uh, it's not any difference uh, that uh, has been done or tweaking of the syllabus or anything or curriculum everything is followed but just by adding little touch of your heart and you know connecting with your heart so that is what is required and that is what is missing these days we take teaching as a job and rather i would say that even as parents we just you know as a duty we just jump into it at times we are so tired but we don't put in our heart when we are if we are given one hour to our child given the busy schedule let's give it fully with our heart so that is the magic that mom is trying to create here that we put in your heart you connect and that with that connection the child automatically learns because you know as covid we have seen that when we, they were learning through screens there was a huge difference and now when schools have started now in year on almost and see the difference in the children how beautiful they are flourishing right so that is the power of connecting and that is the power of uh, human interactions so ma'am today we learned something great from you that heart based education is the thing to follow and i hope that this vision of your fun wide spreads everywhere for the flourishing of the students and for the good of the world it's very much needed today so thank you so much for your time ila ma'am and before we sign off one last question to you 
how has been your parents thought about mindfulness and uh, heartful meditation are you also ensuring that parents also take up such sessions yeah we do have sessions for uh, parents uh, we have uh, arranged one session in the month of january for all the parents and uh, you know nearby people uh, around the school um, we have not yet decided the name but then it will be something like hriday utsav or something you know uh, where we can celebrate uh, the joy in the heart so we do have sessions and uh, during covid also we had one dhyanotsav online virtual dhyanotsav we had for all our parents and uh, like it has to be done on three consecutive days and uh, half an hour each day so we do have connections like today we have a, a fun fair in school on the occasion of children's day so all the preparation and everything is going on the ground now so it will start at 4 o'clock today also we have uh, one uh, we have put up one stall uh, uh, we have we are going to showcase one book by our uh, heartfulness global guide mr kamlesh patel whom we lovingly call daji so recently he has uh, you know published a new book uh, the wisdom bridge so we are going to put up uh, and showcase that book also and which has uh, you know very interesting tips on parenting so that is how you know we have uh, you know that uh, connection with our parents as well wow so you know to do all my dear viewers as you listen to ma'am she is not only connecting with students and teachers she is ens also ensuring that even the parents are aware of what they are doing how this kind of meditation and small amount of time that we give for ourselves our inner self helps us in finding the real joy of learning and you know what this kind of heart based education is what will make self directed learners so that is very much required because given the fact google guru is there everywhere today all we need is little motivation self direction for the students to find the right path so today is was a very delightful conversation with ma'am thank you so much for putting the heart in the education ma'am and we look forward for more such conversations stay tuned thank you so much ma'am for your time thank you so much for having me here thank you